Welcome back. So now we should have all 12 of our solar cells pre-tabbed and we're ready to assemble them into our base panel. First, we'll want to number each cell cavity according to the documentation so that we can easily ascertain what direction and which cell should be placed in each cavity. We'll start with the bottom right cell cavity, numbered four. For this, we'll need one of the cells with 10 inch long tabbing wires. It's good to place this near the cell cavity so we're ready to put it in place as soon as we put the glue in the cavity. Place two small pea-sized drops of hot glue in line with the traces of the solar cell. Again, pick up the cell by the tabbing wire and place it in the cavity so the tabbing wire is facing to the left. Center it in the cavity and use two fingers to gently press down on the cell directly over the glue droplets. Continue pressing gently on the cell for about 20 seconds to let the glue cure. Then you can gently bend the tabbing wire so you don't accidentally pin it under the next cell. Continue this process for the next three cells as noted in the documentation. Once all cells are seated into their cell cavities, we're ready to solder the tabbing wire to the traces on the top of each solar cell. Now this process is going to be pretty similar to when we were pre-tabbing each cell, except we're going to want to move even more carefully and gently than we were since we're not working on a guaranteed flat surface. Um, this could be due to dabs of glue that were maybe a little bit too big, or pieces of debris that got caught in the cell cavity once the cell was pressed down. Um, all of these things are completely and totally fine. We just want to keep them in mind as we're soldering and just move a little bit more lightly and delicately than we did before. Mr. Fluxpen was your friend before and he is your friend again and will add a generous amount of flux to the traces on the top of the cell. Make sure the flux is really, really flowing out of the pen before starting so you don't have to press down too hard on the cell itself. Now, just like before, add 3 eighths of an inch of solder to the tip of your iron and gently wipe the iron down the tabbing wire, pulling the tabbing wire taut as you go. Spread the solder about halfway down the cell, apply another 3 eighths of an inch of solder, and spread it down the other half. Now just repeat this gluing and soldering process for the remaining eight cells and you'll have your very own 30 watt solar panel. Just remember to go slowly and keep those nerves in check as it's much easier to break a cell during this part of the process than it was when we were pre-tabbing them. I know you can do it though, and if you get stuck, just refer back to this video or to the documentation. Happy soldering!